Hello guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some wrapping of the interior panels of the car. Bit of a change from the uh, exterior. So first off, you're going to want to remove this plastic panel. It goes in the uh, door handle area. Just this, this little bit here. It sits in there like that. Now I'm just going to flathead screwdriver and just leave it from this side. It pops out revealing probably a 10mm bolt. So um, we'll take that out. All right, so that is a 10mm bolt in there. Just remove that one. You'll also have to remove the door stop on the uh, door edge there. You'll also have to remove the door handle trim. Um, just get a trim removal tool in the base down here and then just pry it out. Obviously, you want to be careful because it's all leather and rather soft. And you can see, even by being gentle using uh, proper trim removal tools, um, yeah, still, you won't ever see it, but yeah, just gotta be careful. So now we're faced with uh, these bolts here as well. Um, you also have a LED in the door handle, so you, uh, just be careful of that one as well. And um, there's another bolt up the top there as well, so remove them ones, and we're getting closer. Then once you've done that, they're just 10mm bolts as well. Start at a corner, or wherever you think is practical and then just remove the door card so I've got it off at the moment obviously just be careful of the LED otherwise on that a very thin gauge so just be careful not to rip that out um, and then obviously you've got your door handle um, cables and there's another set of cables in the door as well um, so just be careful of that this bit may pop out as well with the um, door card but you can just push that back into where it's meant to be um, and it'll sit there um, fine and then there is some um, Phillips head screws that hold this into the door card um, you just have to remove them and then this bit will come out and then you can um, just wrap it from there so we'll um, we'll do that all right so that's obviously where it previously sat the uh, wood grain insert now it's just got five screws that hold it in Phillips head ones um, and then there's some clips, just some retaining ones that um, will hold it in its little spot. So once you've done that, you've got it out, and now you can wrap it. So let's go and chuck some wrap on this, make it look heaps better. And there you go, it looks something like that. Now, this is going to annoy me. When I was pushing it in, it sort of folded the wrap back out. So I might have to go through with a credit card and just flatten that end but yeah doesn't look too bad heaps better yeah it doesn't look too bad meant to be some uh mercedes bronzy speckled thing um i'm not sure if i'm a fan just yet but definitely looks better than the normal wood grain so we'll see how the rest of the car looks in it um but obviously beauty of wrap it can be taken off and replaced with something else so yes we'll see how we go so we'll chuck this door back on and uh, we'll move on to another piece. Right, so I'll move on to this side now. now. This side doesn't come out, so it has to be wrapped where it is. Um, so you'll obviously have to get a wrap, a piece of wrap that is big enough to fit that. And then, um, yeah, just basically cut it where it is and um, yeah, do it that way. So we'll move into doing that then, I guess. All right, there we go. The centerpiece done and the other part of the door actually looks all right not too bad um sort of thinking i might change color in the future but for now it's definitely looking all right much better than the wood grain so i'll have to do all the center tomorrow but got all the major bits done in the front so pretty happy with that now with this piece i didn't even have to take the door cut off i literally just cut it when it was on the door and it worked out fine so that's also another method you can use to um to put it on as well so yeah it's not too bad all right so we'll pick this up again tomorrow all right so moving on to the center part of the dash now so for starters you'll have to um remove your gear selector which easily just pull down on the leather surround and this bit just pull down and it'll easily pop off and there'll be a retaining clip that holds the uh, actual knob onto the shifter itself um, and just remove that and then from there, you can easily just pull the center console out and um, remove the power plugs that are attached to the underside. 
um, which then gives you access to these leather panels uh, that need to be popped off to do the uh, infotainment system. Alright, so from here you um, have access to your leather panels. So you want to start at the back and then uh, pull the panel towards the rear of the car and I'll easily just pop out giving you access to the uh, four Phillips head screws that hold the uh, infotainment system in. So I'll remove them and um, take that out and then um, hopefully that'll be about it for that one. Assuming obviously plugs and all that come out as well. And um, then yeah, it should be fairly simple from there on, I'm hoping. So once you've uh, removed them four screws, you simply just pull the dash centre out towards you and um, it'll come free from its clips. Uh, just keeping a note that the um, 12 volt panel is um, sort of attached to it, but it also comes away with a couple of clips as well. Um, so yeah, you just pull that towards you and it'll come out easy enough. Um, obviously just keeping in mind that there's only little clips that hold it in there, so just be gentle with it. Um, and then there's a couple of power clips behind that that need to be taken out, so be careful with that too. Don't be pulling on it too hard, otherwise you'll rip them out, and that's not ideal at all. Hello guys, and welcome back. Uh, just a little bit of an update, and also continue on with uh, this video. Um, finally got some time to actually do a little bit to the car. Hopefully we're going to um, do this part here today. We'll see how we go. Um, but as you can see, I've now got that bit on. Um, I've just traced that out and um, and chucked that one on, which worked out pretty well, um, just because it's so much easier than having to lay a massive sheet over everything and do it that way, because um, you'll get to a corner and it'll just be all stuffed up, and um, yeah, you won't actually be able to get the wrap right. So I decided I'm going to do it in two halves just to make it a bit easier. Um, so yeah, hopefully that should help um, when it comes to actually wrapping that. But um, yeah, this bit's come out all right. There's a couple of little bits I need to fix up, um, but that's easy enough. Haven't quite got there yet, but that's okay. Um, as you can see, I've gone to a carbon wrap now, which looks heaps nicer in the car. Um, looks a lot more, I don't know, factory, I suppose you would say. Um, but yeah, it just suits it a lot nicer than um, the other wrap that we had. So I did wrap this bit here, and um, one bit you'll have to be careful of is this centre bit back in, it's going to hit the wrap on there when you put it in, so you just have to be careful of that. It only happened on one side, which isn't too bad, but it doesn't really matter anyway, because you're going to have to take that out and replace the wrap with the carbon one. Um, so that's okay, it doesn't really uh, bother me too much. So I'm going to take this centre console bit out again, and um, yeah, then pull all that stuff out as well, so you can... Um, yeah, get a bit more access to everything, which is always good. So obviously I do have the car back um, from it being at Nissan as well, um, just in, in regards to its um, its aircon line. So yeah, that was all sorted under warranty. I didn't have to pay anything for it. Um, it was all sweet. Unsure if they had to take the um, actual body of the car off or not. Um, they didn't really say anything about it, but I'm assuming they would have, because um, that's what they said in the beginning. Um, although it didn't really make sense. I got it back and there was no dramas with it, so um, yeah, I'm assuming everything's all good with it. Um, I haven't noticed any fault codes or any rattles or anything like that, so if they did have to take the body of the car off, I must have done it decently, and it was a little bit quicker than um, I was anticipating as well, which is always good. So yeah, this is basically the final stage of the, um, of the wrap for the interior. Um, once this is done, that's it, which is good. And then, basically, then the whole car's finished. So, um, yeah, that's great. So, yeah, we'll crack on and we'll take this bit out. And, um, yeah, we'll try and wrap that and see how we go. And, um, yeah, then hopefully I can get it finished this weekend, which would be great. Alrighty, guys. New day. These things always seem to happen. Always get interrupted uh, <laughs> when I'm trying to do something. But anyway, I've done this section here now, which has um, actually turned out not too bad. Pretty happy with that. Um, and an aeroplane, of course. So now all the centre uh, infotainment system bit is done. Redone this bottom bit as well. And also redid the, um, the gear shifter or gear selector chrome as well. So that's looking a lot nicer now too. So yeah, it's uh, finally starting to get a whole lot nicer inside here. 
obviously just need to still do this center bit um luckily this was the last big enough piece of wrap that i had left so i was able to um to use that on there and get that bit finished which was good um so yeah all the rest of the car is done in it now i've done the back seats as well uh the back doors sorry so that's good that's all finished um so yeah it's literally just this center bit and then it's done so that's awesome finally getting a uh, a step closer to having this thing actually look um you know a lot nicer like it should have out of the factory so yeah this will be the next step i'll have to order some more wrap for this one but once that arrives then i'll be able to smash this bit out and get that finished as well now i'll do it the same way that i did this which has actually turned out a lot better than i thought i'll do it in sections so obviously i'll have to wrap this um slight folding um little door bit um just by itself and then um i was sort of thinking from where this sort of crease is um do over that side and then from there over i should just be able to trace out a bit and um, do the rest of this part here so that should work out pretty well um like i said did this whole bit in sections and sort of just traced out where you know buttons and stuff go and um yeah it worked out to be the easiest way and um yeah actually looks pretty decent as well so yeah very happy with that now this this center bit is probably the hardest part of doing the whole car um just because it's fiddly and annoying and um, there's not a whole lot of space to try and get to plugs and stuff and screws that hold it in um, Actually the most amount of screws is in this bottom part So the fascia bit that comes off where your plugs and stuff go um, For like a USB and your 12 volt um, That's got four screws in it and I found it easiest just to take the screws out leave this part in and then just take the fascia bit off and um, then, yeah, just found that a lot easier to um, to do. I'm going to push these bits in. There we go. Sometimes you've got to give it a bit of a hit. So, yeah, now it's, um, yeah, all looking a heap nicer. Now, this top bit only has two, uh, two screws on each side, so it's got four in total. There's one about here, and then there's another one about there in the top and um, you just undo that and it literally just pulls out um, so that part's quite easy um, but yeah like i said <laughs> that bottom part's probably the hardest because the um, actual cables that run to it um, they're very short they don't have a lot of um, extra length on them so yeah just gotta be careful with um, with them ones but yeah apart from that very happy with how that's looking and it'll be a heap nicer once this is done as well um, unsure if i want to leave the chrome here or not um so yeah we'll see um when it comes time to doing it probably easiest just to leave it because wrapping um like a curved surface is pretty difficult because the wrap wants to crease so um yeah probably just leave it like i have done here with the chrome and i think it looks fine just like that so yeah pretty happy with with just leaving it for now but always just redo it in the future now i've got a few other things that i want to show you that i've done um to the patrol um since the last video so let's go and have a look at that but exterior wise i've painted all these chrome bits in black in a nice satin that matches the um 2022 grill so that looks quite good and a heap better than the um than the plastic dip that i had on there it just looks a heap more factory and um yeah it just really suits the car heat better um so that's turned out not too bad um also did these in the satin as well um so they look pretty good i left these plastic dipped in that satin plastic dip because they actually look fine um so that's good um door handles are wrapped although i would love to know how to take them off so i can paint them as well um just to match the rest of the car and also this chrome trim um, that I'm probably going to have to do at some stage as well. That'll probably be a pain in the ass. Because um, I heard <clears throat> when you go to take that off, um, you can break it very easily. So it's almost just better off breaking it and having another set to replace it with. So yeah, we'll see how we go with that one. Um, and I also did all the rear uh, light garnish as well. Um, 
I need to take the patrol one off and redo that um, because this is just um, still plasti dip. Although you can see it does match fairly well with the paint. Um, but yeah, just to have everything the same, I'll take that one off and repaint that as well. So yeah, these come up pretty good and definitely matches the rest of the car. Now, moving under the car. So obviously, majority of this is stock. Obviously, I chopped the exhaust off just after this massive big muffler here. Um, but I've also done a cat delete. So we've removed the secondary cats and replaced them with some straight through pipe, which has um, definitely livened up the sound quite a bit. So yeah, not too shabby there. These were like $314 or something for a couple of pieces of pipe, which is just ridiculous. But anyway, it is what it is. So um, yeah, that's pretty good, which is in preparation for the custom exhaust that um, I'll be making uh, in the next, uh, yeah, next month. Um, so that'll be good, be able to get that all sorted. I've got all the steel and everything ready to go. Um, just have to wait till next month to sort that out. Now, I have to um, do something about this restriction here, because obviously, um, yeah, I don't know how a massive big V8 is meant to breathe through this tiny little bend here. It looks like two inches of steel, it's just ridiculous. And then moves into this massive big uh, three inch section, which goes into the muffler, so yeah, it'd be um, pretty good to have that sorted and um, have the car sanding a heap more cranky. Now I'm going to do the same thing that uh, Ruben did with his uh, Y62 and have the um, the exhaust dump out the side, um, just behind the passenger door. Um, we'll sort of see if that's going to be doable or not. Um, so obviously it is. So we'll um, yeah we'll figure out a way on how to do that so yeah it'll be sounding very mean and cranky which is what we want from a V8 so yeah that's a um, couple of things I've done since our last video so yeah slowly starting to get some things underway I've also ordered a snorkel and airbox so that should be here in the next couple of weeks obviously lead times and everything um, make things a little bit difficult when it comes to um, ordering things nowadays so yeah next couple of weeks it'll hopefully be here and then um yeah we'll be able to chuck that one on as well and um yeah i'll chuck a video out on how to do that um i'll have to buy another dremel as well because my one broke the uh yeah collet on it just uh yeah it stopped engaging properly so it's destined for the bin but um yeah apart from that um yeah, we should be sweet. Now, obviously, I had that um, airline issue, the aircon air line issue. So, yeah, that's um, been replaced. You can not even tell. I don't even know if they've actually... Obviously, this line looks a heap newer than the rest of them, although I can't remember if it's always looked like that. So, um, yeah, to know properly what they've actually done is a bit hard because obviously they don't really tell you much. So it'd be interesting to see if they've just um, joined it somewhere because the, um, the top line is actually new and they've just joined that onto the original one that goes into the condenser, which I'll show you. So, yeah, who knows? All right, so this is the line they replaced, and as you can see, just joined it back up to the um, yeah the factory part of it there, which goes into the condenser. So, so yeah, now it's um, all working as it should, which is always good. And then, as you can see, it's actually sitting well away from that shock now, which is as it should be. So obviously, it's meant to sit in that bracket, and I wonder if they just forgot to put it back in the bracket or it came out of there somehow but um yeah surely surely it wouldn't have to you know i don't know how that could have happened 
But uh, looks like they've put some sort of conduit on it as well to stop it rubbing even further. So it's interesting. Definitely was not like that from the factory. So whatever. Give it a bit more protection is always good, I suppose. But yeah, they've fully conduited that section of it to stop it from rubbing on anything so yeah it's probably not a bad idea so that's okay yeah cheers for watching guys appreciate it make sure you like comment and subscribe as well if you're new um we're starting to get a heap of subscriptions recently which is great i love being able to share all all this stuff with you guys so you guys can learn from my mistakes and also do things um to your car by yourself without having to take it to someone because you know, you're saving yourself thousands of dollars by doing things yourself. So, plus, it's always good to have new skills and um, there's always satisfaction of doing stuff to your own car, which is um, also a massive benefit. So until next time, guys, I'll see you at the next video.